Hi there, it's Michelangelo Caruso. Welcome back to my Selling More, Better, Faster playlist here on YouTube. If you're listening in order, in sequence, you know that the last video was about rethinking your sales approach, and in this episode, episode three, we're going to talk about something that very few salespeople bother to do, but it's extremely useful, this idea of networking five deep in an organization so that you're not hamstrung later on when your primary contact is somehow not available to you or transferred or has moved on, whatever. So here's how it works, everybody. If you're selling, you're probably working in a hurry, right? You, you're calling on your primary contact at a given prospect, and you don't have time to talk to everybody that's there. If, it's, uh, if it works out, you'll meet people and talk to them, but you're primarily looking to have one-on-one -on -one conversation with your primary person. And that's okay when the primary person's always around, but we know is that the primary person often gets moved along or is somehow not available to you at critical moments later on, especially if you're doing complex or involved sales of any kind. And so what I recommend is networking not one deep, but five deep at any given company. So let's count the number of people that you could network with and have connections with. We know you're going to get a business card and contact information and develop a relationship with your primary contact, all right? So that's number one. I recommend that you also get to know and have contact information for your primary contact's boss. That's the second person, right? And I recommend if you can find out something about that person's boss, there's three people. So now you're networking three deep into the organization. Now we all know it's not a good idea to contact uh, your boss, the, the, contact, the primary contact's boss, without the primary contact's permission. But that doesn't mean that you can't be in a communication loop somehow, right? Just, just in case is what I'm saying. Here's, a, here's the fourth person that you might want to get in contact with. How about the purchasing agent, the person that's eventually going to cut you a PO? Wouldn't you like to develop a relationship with him or her sooner rather than later? Also a public relations person at the company that you're trying to do business with. Maybe the social media person at that company. Because if you bring uh, donuts or bagels for the entire company and the public relations person has a chance to thank you online in front of thousands of people, that would be a good thing. So when you network five deep in an organization, you protect yourself from things like the primary contact getting fired, the primary contact quitting or leaving the company for any reason, the primary contact bit getting reassigned or promoted, right? And now you have to develop a completely new relationship with a second primary contact. So this idea of networking five deep is fantastic and uh, you can take advantage of it in a number of ways later on through uh, emails that are sent to a small group of people, group texts uh, under special conditions only, and of course tagging people on social. I hope this is useful to you. Next time in this playlist, we're going to talk about how to stay top of mind in your prospects, cabeza, 24-7. It's some great tips for this and they're, they're thinking about you all the time means they're more likely to call you when they need your product or service. If you like what you're hearing, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click that bell so you're notified, that YouTube bell, click the bell so that you're notified of all new videos. Also, plenty of sales advice and sales tips at michaelangelocaruso.com on my blog. Thanks very much, everybody. Happy selling. We'll see you soon.